Welcome to the Beck Law Office's weekly question and answer. I'm Benjamin Beck, founding partner at the Beck Law Office. This week's question is, what do you do when a dealership doesn't give you your repair orders? And that's really kind of two different questions, depending on the scenario. Uh, the first, I usually hear something along the lines of, I went to the dealership uh, to request all my repair orders and they won't give them to me or they will only give me an itemization of the work that I've done at that dealership. Now, the itemization, uh, the latter here, uh, happens more in a scenario where the, the dealership that you originally went went out of business and the ownership changed. Oftentimes, the new dealership doesn't have the same kind of versions of those repair orders, so they won't be able to give you those repair orders. Instead, they'll give you a list. Um, the less common scenario, and I can't remember of a situation where it necessarily occurs, but uh, it can come up, uh, is if you take your, deal, your, your vehicle in at the end of the service, uh, they don't provide you any sort of documentation. Now, they're obligated uh, by the Bureau of Automotive Repairs to provide you an estimate of uh, what the work is go going to be, what they're going to do, and then your authorization to perform that work. So if, if that ever happens, um, you know, I would contact the Bureau of Automotive Repairs and, and make a complaint so they can investigate if a dealership is refusing repair orders. More common, um, what I think happens uh, from speaking with the clients over the years is that they'll take their car or truck in and the dealership won't be able to find anything wrong with it. So they won't create a repair order. And, you know, we refer to these as service orders, service records, invoices, work orders. They're all essentially synonymous, synonymous for, for purposes of today's discussion. But realistically, um, uh, you want them to be able to find the problem. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. Um, you can video record what you're dealing with. If this is a condition that happens while you're driving, have a friend video record it while you're driving. You want to be safe. And then you can uh, indicate when it is uh, the problem occurs in the video so that it can be referenced by the technician or the service advisor who you're, you're interacting with. Um, you could try a photograph as well, depending on the defect. Um, uh, if, if it's something that happens intermittently and you need to capture a photograph, be safe, you can do it. And then that way, whether it's video or picture, when you go to the dealership, you're equipped with um, you know, some material to show them what it is, in fact, is going on. Um, uh, but also the other, you know, the other option is, is ask them to take you, take it on a test drive with you in the, in the car. And then you could even video that and just indicate when it is that the, the problem is, is happening. And that way they, they can at least acknowledge it. Um, if they're having a hard time finding it, keep track of the, the circumstances when it happens. Maybe it only happens when you're getting on the freeway. Um, and then when you take it on test drive, make sure to replicate those same driving conditions so that the technician can acknowledge it. Um, now, at that point, they're gonna be hard pressed to tell you there's, you know, they're not gonna do any work on it because there's no, uh, there's nothing wrong. If that's still essentially their position, uh, what you want is you want to get a diagnostic, ask them to diagnose what it is that's going on and how much it will cost to repair it. Uh, if it's not gonna be covered in a warranty because it's perhaps a from their perspective, a normal condition, um, then you know have them indicate that uh, on that repair order. If it's something that they're going to attribute to wear and tear or maintenance, then have it's not covered under warranty, then have them give you an estimate on how much it is going to cost for you to perform whatever service or repair that they're they're going to say uh, will correct the the issue that you're having, or if it's something else. All right, so that's the Q and A for the week. Um, Hopefully that uh, clears up any confusion for those of you that have run into this problem out there. Submit your weekly questions to ben at becklemonlaw.com and I will uh, answer your questions uh, from week to week. Thank you all and have a good week.